everyone, it's Nicole here for Lawn Fawn today with a Father's Day card featuring some new products from the summer 2018 Lawn Fawn release. I am using the You Are Sublime, Sublime stamp set with the Father's Day line border to create this under the water or under the, the sea type of Father's Day card. I'm also using some Marvy Color In La Plume 2 markers to color in my images today and using the Marvy Jewel Picker to pick up and place any small dies and also the clear droplets that I'm gonna be using for bubbles on my card. Let's start with the background, building the background scene for our card. I am using Faded Jeans, Blueprint Sketch, and Black Soot Distress Oxide inks on Bristol Smooth cardstock. Blending these three together, Faded Jeans is on top, Blueprint Sketch is in the middle, and Black Soot is gonna be near the bottom. I'm not gonna worry about going all the way up to the top of the card. I'm going to be cutting about an inch, I think it's exactly an inch in fact, off of the top of my panel to give room for my Father's Day line border at the top of the design. Once I have a seamless blend, I am going to grab a stencil that's going to create the illusion of light rays coming down through the water. This is one of my favorite things to do with under the water type of ocean scenes. I'm going to pounce on some Lawn Fawn Yeti White Pigment Ink through these light rays. Now this is going to give a pretty dark white line. I also suggest pouncing it on rather than rubbing it because you're going to get much nicer lines that way. But you can see it's really dark. What I like to do then is take a dry paper towel or a dry cloth and simply wipe away that excess ink. It's gonna give you a much softer, much more realistic, beautiful look. Now, I decided I didn't want it to go all the way down to the bottom of the card after I'd already done it. So I'm gonna go back with black soot and blueprint sketch inks and blend those into the bottom of the design to kind of soften it up a bit before spritzing with water from a distress sprayer and blotting that dry. This gives that look of bubbles and just really finishes off that underwater scene perfectly. Here I am trimming off an inch from the top of my panel and then I've got another piece of cardstock here. This is some smooth white cardstock trimmed to A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Then I'm just laying out my Father's Day line border to make sure it's all going to fit perfectly. And that looks good just like that. Now before I actually stamp anything, I always like to kind of play with my stamps. In this case, I have some additional sentiments that I wanna use for my card so that it reads, Happy Father's Day, hope you have a sublime day. Um, ties it all in to the stamp set we're using, but still works with the Father's Day theme. Then I wanna lay out the images from You Are Sublime to make sure everything is going to fit the way I want it to. This always gives me a great starting place and gives me an idea if maybe I need some additional images or I have too many images. Often I err on the side of not enough and we'll maybe have to go back and add a few more. That is the case with this card. Some of the seaweed and rocks and uh, like just little fossils, whatever they might be, that kind of go down near the bottom of the scene. I stamped multiples of those for my card to fill it in a little bit better. Plus I stamped multiples of the small fish because I really felt like that helped fill in the scene so much better. Now, instead of the bubbles stamp image from the stamp set, I'm actually gonna use some clear droplet jewels to create my water droplets on my card. So I'll share that here in a little bit. I die cut the Father's Day line border from some Blue Jay Lawn Fawn cardstock, and I love these line borders. Look how awesome that's gonna look up at the top of the card. 
It can fit across the A2 sized car card horizontally, but as I'm showing here, you can also trim off the ends and use it on a portrait or vertical style orientation card. Next, I have stamped my images on some Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I'm coloring in with the Marvy Color In La Plume 2 pastel markers. This is a package of 12 markers here, and I'm simply kind of blending them, coloring really gently. You don't want to go over them too many times after you've already colored. You will peel the paper if you try to do that, but you can always take a water brush pen, which I will do for several of the images I'm coloring here today, and blend out these markers beautifully. They're water-based markers. Um, it's a water-based dye ink, and these, um, pardon me, pastel markers worked for everything I'm coloring here today. So let me open up my package here. Sorry about that, this noise. That way I can tell you the colors that I am using exactly. The eel was colored with a combination of peppermint and yellow green. And then I added some little dot detail to the eel to give him even more interest. The rock I did with light brown and then the cream yellow. The little pink fish, in fact, I think all four of my fish, the bigger one and the three smaller ones, are going to be in the shades of pink here. So we've got bubble gum pink and we also have blush pink. And they blend beautifully. Then I'll go back with my bubblegum pink marker and add some little dot detail to my fish that gives it the look of gills. My submarine, I decided to use the blues from the pastel marker set. This is pale blue and aqua marine. And this is where using my water brush pen is going to really come in handy. Um, blend that out, lighten it kind of towards the middle of the submarine. You just want to make sure that this is dry before you try to go in and color anything else. So maybe before the windows or any of the accent, accent areas on the submarine, hit it with a heat dual tool or let it sit and air dry. Now the seaweed, I did do a couple of different color combinations. I actually, I tried to pull in some of the coral pink into this one and I ended up not liking it. So I stamped it two more times and I kept to the peppermint and yellow green for those little greenery pieces. The cream yellow for the windows on the submarine. And then there is a really pretty light cool gray in the set that worked great for the rest of the submarine pieces. Now for my coral pieces, I am using coral pink and pastel peach. I love this color combination. I used it for multiples. Again, there are multiples of the coral pieces along the bottom edge of my card and tucked around the submarine because I really felt like they added a, the perfect little touches to the card. Now for my big fish here, he's going to be a combination of wisteria, which is an awesome purple color, and the pastel peach. Or maybe it was blush pink. I think it was the pastel peach. And I did that on the, the stomach and then I colored in a little bit with the wisteria and then I blended out with a water brush pen to get that nice seamless transition. And I really, I wasn't too sure about it, but once it dry, he dried, I really loved the color combination. And again, my pink colors for the remaining fish. I used all 12 markers to color in everything you see here. So kind of a fun challenge to limit myself to these markers only and be able to color everything in. Now, just like the smaller fish on this larger one, I'm going to add some little dot detail. It adds some awesome interest. I like to do this with other kinds of markers as well, and I was really excited to see that it worked so 
Um, well, with these Marby LaPlume markers, um, in fact, the big guy is going to get some of these little dots as well with the Wisteria Purple. Kind of just flicking in some little lines for his tail. And this is going to finish him off nicely. Now I'm going to take the coordinating You Are Sublime dies and die cut all of these images plus the um, extra fish, the extra seaweed. Here you can see me coloring in a few of those little pieces, an extra rock. Just a few additional little details that I think will really fill in the rest of the card nicely. Now before we adhere anything, this is a great time to add any stamped greeting. My background has had enough time to air dry. If you are going to stamp on it right away, I would suggest hitting it with a heat tool because we used the Distress Oxide inks. They have pigment ink in them. They take a little, little bit longer to dry and embossing powder can stick to them. In fact, you can emboss with them if you want to, but in this case we don't, so you want to make sure your background is completely dry before you stamp any greeting. And I am stamping the Hope You Have a Sublime Day right here underneath the line at the top of the card with a clear embossing ink. We'll sprinkle on some of the Lawn Fawn White Embossing Powder and then heat set that. I love how the white embossing powder looks on this underwater ocean scene background. Plus I like how the white really ties in with that white strip at the top of the card that we're layering the Father's Day line border over. Just kind of helps pull it all together really nice. Now we can go ahead and adhere the underwater panel to the bottom of the white cardstock panel. And then I'm going to use a fine tip applicator on my glue bottle and add some little dabs of glue to that Father's Day line border and adhere it right at the top of this panel piece, butting up the straight line of the die with the top of the cardstock piece. That's going to really help keep it in a nice straight line. Trim off any of the excess there on either side and then go ahead and start putting it all together. And I ended up using a lot of liquid glue to glue down my pieces, layering them. I think that gives you the most um, realistic type of look. And then adding an acrylic block on top to hold those pieces down while the glue dries and to hold them nice and flat and keep the background flat. hiding some of the fish behind some of the greenery pieces, um, some of the coral back behind the submarine, in front of the submarine. Just get a nice grouping of little images all over the card. Now a jewel picker is amazing for picking up small pieces, including the apostrophe in the word Father's Day. I glued that down with the, and picked it up with the small end. Now I'm going to switch to the larger end of the jewel picker. This is one of my most often used tools. It's fantastic for confetti, sequins, small die cuts, um, other types of jewels. I'm using it to attach these little clear droplets to my card that look like bubbles. And it you can see it picks them up and I'm able to place them right on top of the adhesive perfectly. It's a little bit sticky on each end and it's just an invaluable tool if you like adding those little accents to your cards. I'm finishing by adding some glossy accents to the windows on the submarine, adding some little white pin detail here and there all over the card, gluing this panel to a white top fold card base, and that is going to finish up my You Are Sublime Father's Day card featuring the You Are Sublime stamps and dies and Father's Day line border. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this Father's Day card. Please be sure to visit the Lawn Fawn blog for more information on this project. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.